Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? What are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? For Cancer in love. What messages do you have for Cancer in love? What messages? Okay. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Now this card, sometimes I'm also, like I see it also as traveling of some sort, um, seeing someone um, coming to see you or vice versa, something like that. Let's see, what else for Cancer? It could also mean like the beginning of a relationship. Let's see what else we get. True love, wow, this is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, so let's see what else we can get. Let me just have a sip of my coffee. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? What's going on in this connection? Oops. What's going on in this connection? between cancer and the person they are in a connection with at this time spirit whoop the tower wanted to fall out what messages do you have for cancer what messages do you have for cancer wow six of swords that is exactly the energy of the honeymoon card What else is going on in this connection for Cancer? Two, oop, two of Pentacles. Okay, and Justice wanted to come out. Libra energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. Some of you live at a, at a distance from this person. This is a long distance relationship or you're apart right now in some way. Right after that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's waiting for some sort of opportunity here for success, for recognition. Someone's waiting to hear back from someone or waiting for someone to like arrive. Let's see. Now with the Justice card, this could be some sort of final decision that's being made here some something to do with um, a legal matter or something official could also be um, some sort of balancing if uh, rebalancing that's taking place we'll see I'm gonna clarify all these help me clarify these energies please spirit for cancer why is the six of swords here King of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Six of Swords here? Nope. Four of Cups reversed. Can I get one more? Four of Swords reverse. Interesting. So this is someone who has had some sort of um, change of heart or has changed their mind about something. It is rethinking a decision they've made. And with the Four of Swords reverse, it's like they're really restless or eager to get started. This is also someone who is taking action after thinking about something for a while, after doing some healing some reflecting now they're ready to take action of some sort but this king of pentacles reverse typically they're not financially stable um, sometimes they are already in a commitment that's not doing well 
um, sometimes they're unable to commit in a very in a solid way. Someone who is um, a little greedy at times is the Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. It does not have to be, but um, I'm gonna have to see what else the cards are saying because at the bottom of the deck, oh, I have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone coming to you with some sort of an offer, Cancer. Um, after doing some thinking, some reflecting, um, you know, now they're ready to wake up and bring you some sort of offer. Now this offer takes time to arrive. It's not like an offer that happens overnight. But I'm curious as to why they're bringing you an offer when I don't really feel like they have something solid to give you at this time. It could be that they're leaving a situation and coming to see you. It could be that they have to travel um, or make some sort of journey here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? For Cancer. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups Reverse. Why is the Two of Pentacles? The Magician and the Three of Pentacles. Interesting. This is someone that wants to make something happen. Is probably putting in some sort of work or effort into something. Um, but with this Queen of Cups reverse, I feel like someone here, whatever this person's juggling or whatever's going on where someone's trying to debate a decision, I feel like someone's going to get hurt. Or is not going to be happy with that decision or whatever gets manifested here because that queen of cups reverse typically um they're upset uh heartbroken um sometimes they can't think very clearly their emotions are a bit unbalanced and so um they're not able to really make good judgment calls um, but it could also be someone that's just heartbroken, you know, so I feel like whatever this is with the two of Pentacles This could be someone juggling multiple responsibilities at once or trying to weigh their options here I feel like um, it's more that weighing the options part Whatever someone manifests, I feel it's going to affect a third person. What's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, we got the star Aquarius energy with the star so I feel like this is someone who's trying to make a wish, trying to um, manifest a wish. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Six of Pentacles reversed. See, I, I still get the sense that someone's trying to manifest something or heal a situation that's not balanced. Maybe this is a connection that you're in cancer where someone's unable to give you what you're able to give them or there's an imbalance here in the amount of effort or energy that someone's putting in. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune again in a totally different deck. So I feel like there's a change in the wind here, um, some sort of opportunity, um, some sort of shift in energy that's going to happen that will propel this forward, create some sort of momentum. Tell me about justice. What is justice about? Ten of Swords Reverse. This is about making something right that already ended. This is something that has already happened. There could have been a separation between you or some sort of ending of a cycle that someone's going through right now. Tell me about justice. King of Cups. This is someone who has a lot of um, emotional maturity, compassion, love. They're good listeners. King of Cups, Queen of Cups as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This could be you. Tell me about the Justice card. One more, please. It's like someone wants to make some sort of declaration of love because they're traveling 
to make something happen here. This could also be an apology. I don't know why I'm taking... Yeah, Knight of Cups. This could be somebody coming to apologize or offer you a cup of love with the Knight of Cups. And I feel like this is someone wanting a second chance. I have judgment at the bottom of the deck. Or someone that's had some sort of awakening. Some, something that has pushed them to do this. So let's see. What's the energy between you, Spirit? Help me. With the energies of these two are running, please. Help me see these energies, please. Cancer. Tell me, please, about the energies between Cancer and the person they're dealing with. Let's start with you, Cancer. What is the energy that Cancer is bringing to this connection spirit at this time? We got the starfish. So there's more to something than meets the eye with the starfish. There is a depth that someone doesn't really notice at first. All that glitters isn't gold, an illusion of some sort. That's what the star all these the starfish means all these things. The starfish is um shallow energy. It's it's almost like um I feel like when you I'm getting two messages. The first message I'm getting is that someone sees right through you down to the deepest part of you. It's like this person knows you for the real you. For others you, of you, I'm getting the sense that you have not been completely open or honest with this person about who you are. Maybe due to fear, maybe because it's too early in the relationship, maybe because you don't want to get hurt. Some of you could be um, presenting yourselves as something that, you know, maybe you haven't really revealed yourself to someone just yet. We'll see, because I'm going to clarify with an energy card. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. What are the energies, spirit, that they're bringing to this connection? Oh, we got the hawk. And zebra. Okay. Let me look at the hawk real quick. Watchful, all-seeing messenger of divinity. So this person's watching you or keeping tabs on you in some way. Fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. That's that wheel of fortune. The hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly. So I feel like that's this is your person's... The, this hawk is the person bringing the knight of cups or is the person that's giving this cup to someone else making some sort of an offer. And I feel like that's going to uh, cause a shift here. So let's get some more clarity here on these energies. I'm going to use my energy oracle deck. This is a deck that you can print at home. I have a link down below if you're interested. Spirit for cancer, please. Can I get some more clarity? I know what's going on actually. To do it like this. For cancer, please. Get some more clarity. Tell me about cancer's energy. Tell me about cancer's energy, please. Ah! Sweet dreams, fantasy, daydream, imagination. This connection is more than you dreamed of. Some of you could be wondering if this connection has enough to build off of. Um, if this has potential for something long lasting. Some of you could be wondering if this connection, if this is an illusion, just a dream. Tell me about Cancer's person and the energy they're bringing to this connection. I want these two. Okay, we got fond memories, history, nostalgia, connection. There are fond memories to look back on regarding this connection. So I feel like you've known this person for a while. And then we got far apart, distance, separation, divide. Yeah, there's some sort of distance here, 
whether it's emotional distance or physical distance. I have three cards here about distance. Honeymoon, Six of Swords, Far Apart. Past life at the bottom of the deck. So this could be an ex, someone you've already had some sort of connection with or past life energy. So let's see. What are the energies that you're bringing to this connection? Let's get some more information about how you feel about each other. Or Cancer, please. Tell me more, Spirit. more about this connection for cancer players now cancer I have you on this side and I have your person on the other but the energy can be flipped so feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you also if it is resonating please let me know down in the comments if it's resonating for you I love to hear from you guys on how the readings resonate. So, all right, let's see. Tell me about cancer. What is cancer thinking or feeling? Okay. Wow. Ten of, I have four cards. I'm just going to take them. Ten of cups, ace of wands, ten of pentacles. So right here, I feel like this is someone that you see a lot of potential with. Like you, this is the beginning of something very special and you see this really ending in something solid, maybe marriage, family, long-term commitment of some sort. Um, however, with the Six of Pentacles reverse, it's almost like, are your feelings going to be reciprocated? Are the feelings mutual? Um, is this person going to be able to give to this connection like you are? Um, I feel like there's something unbalanced or in off, off balance here. These are great cards to have. So I feel like this is someone that maybe in your mind could be, you know, too good to be true. Tell me about the person that Cancer is in a connection with Spirit. What are their thoughts or feelings regarding this connection with Cancer? Three of Swords Reverse. What are their thoughts and feelings regarding this connection? with Cancer. Three of Wands reverse. I feel like this is very similar to that Four of Swords reverse. Very restless energy. Someone that wants to just get something done. But what is this Three of Swords about? We're going to have to see. But Page of Swords. Yeah, this is someone, remember when I said someone's watching you, keeping tabs on you, wanting to talk. This person wants to talk. Yep, bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles. This person wants to bring you some sort of an offer. I have the Knight of Cups here, the Knight of Pentacles that came out earlier. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? Oops. Temperance Sagittarius energy here. Patience, balance, moderation. Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? Could be that it's not the right time. Or something needs to come together in balance here for this to work out. Yeah, there's something that's not working out with this person. There's something else here that is preventing this from being successful. And I have the Queen of Cups reverse. So, I, you know, again, this is someone that perhaps there's more than two people here. I have the Three of Swords reverse. Why is the Three of Swords reverse here? Why is the Three of Swords reverse? Page of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Swords reverse? The Emperor, Aries energy. Can I get one more? King of Wands, reverse the moon, Pisces energy with the moon. Yeah, there's something off here and I feel like you suspect it. 
or you're aware of it. Someone here made a mistake that they're trying to fix and they're trying to fix it with, you know, whatever offer they can, you know, whether it's talking to you, apologizing to you, expressing themselves to you. I feel like someone's trying to restore balance here. I'm, I'm not getting anything concrete here about a third party. Some of you are dealing with an interference, but I feel like this is probably more like distance. That That is also third party energy, by the way. Third party energy does not have to be a person. It could be long distance. It could be finances. It could be a parent or a boss or a coworker or something like that. It could be finances, etc. I feel like this is a a whatever separation is happening right now is an interference here tell me about the emperor why is the emperor here knight of pentacles reverse yeah this is the person bringing the offer nine of wands reverse i feel like this has been a long time coming or there's been a lot of time a lot of um Things that have happened in this connection. Things that have been disappointing. Page of Cups reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. So what is gonna happen next? What is gonna happen next here? Where is this headed? What's next for this connection? I'm gonna pick a few cards here. If this is resonating, Cancer, don't forget to leave me a comment. Temperance again, what's next? for this connection. I think this is more just time. Eight of Swords reverse. Overcoming fear, becoming unstuck, seeing a way out of a difficult situation. What's next for Cancer? The Sun reverse and the Eight of Coin reverse. So something here is either hidden or possibly will not unfold um, in the way that someone expects. There could be um, something that is not out in daylight or something that is not uh, being revealed or hasn't been revealed with the sun reversed. Sun reversed for me is very similar to the moon reverse in the sense that there's something that's hidden. Um, when the sun is clouded or there's a cloud over the sun, there is darkness, right? So there's something here that's in the dark. I feel it's this person coming to you with an offer. Like maybe this isn't something that you really see happening here. Because I have the moon here with the emperor, the moon with the king of wands reverse. Maybe something happened in the past that someone's still dealing with and... They haven't come clean about that. But with temperance, it's all going to happen in due time. Patience is needed, but also balance is being restored in time. 